Hey, it's the Chief Bonding with Board Games and RPGs, and this is a Worlds Colliding, hello, Worlds Colliding unboxing. So I, I've also done an unboxing on the Scotch Test Nummies channel. So if you like whiskey at all, you can go look at our channel there. But I wanted to do dual unboxings because there's some whiskey drinkers that know nothing about board games, and this may be their entry. And for you board gamers, this, which I'll be unshrinking, is um, I think your your like second uncle in Scotland died, and well, multiple second uncles, I think, because every player at the table is going to be running their own distillery, picking the way they can do that. There's ways to get money quick, and there's ways to get lots of money later, but you got to put down product, and you can go broke doing that. And that is what Dave Beck, the designer of this game, has done. We had him on the show live way back when he was kickstarting this, and just now, with all the troubles, it has showed up. So I'm going to come in over top, do an unboxing, and we'll look and see what's inside. Then I will get later play time in and i'll do a full review of distilled but again my favorite two hobbies i always say are whiskey and cardboard baby and they've come together in one thanks dave beck distilled let's get over top boom All right, we are over top of distilled. So you can see we've got our nice little still here. We've got some barrel racks in the background, nice little barrel out, and there is a tasting going on. Very nice. Paverson Games, Dave Beck, the designer, and Eric Evanson, the artist. So right off the, off the bat, we can see we're distilling. Very thick box, all right, and very nice, what looks to be a Scottish gentleman, judging by the kilt. <laughs> so, and you can see, um, it looks like you're going to have a player board that's running a distillery. And then ingredients and maybe different master distillers, I don't know fully. Plays one to five, so I think you can just set this up and kind of run yourself through your own um, distillery process. So it doesn't have to be competitive, but... We'll see 30 minutes per player. So as you add players, you're adding length. But let's get the shrink off here. The thematic strategy card game about the science and business of craft, crafting alcoholic spirits in a distillery. All right. Get that out of the way. And big box. Get that over there. What is stop here? So do not throw away your empty punch board frames. Hmm. So oftentimes when you have uh, punch boards, if you get rid of them, there ends up being some gap. Then if you set your, your game boxes up on a shelf, which I do instead of laying flat, all the cards can spill. So this is saying save those. I think you'll put them in the bottom. But there are game trays, brand name. They're in the bottom here. I've seen that advertised on the back of the box. Botch on the back of the box. First taste, the step-by-step -step guide for new players. Okay, very cool. That's nice in the presentation of it being the first thing you see. Wow, very thick paper. Almost has like a linen feel to the paper even. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, nice and colorful. Dog barking in the background. And, wow, rice. Wow, this is real high quality paper. So, Paverson Games. And here we go into the regular rule book. We're up on the board, but I think we can see, again, same paper feel. Yep, you've inherited an abandoned distillery from a distant relative. And now, tasked with bringing your family's business back to its former glory. Sweet. So all that is in the box, properly named. Excellent. Here's what I was thinking. I love splash pages. So if you've ever looked at a comic book, you'll get these huge splash pages. What these do is 
show you all the components, give you numbers that are then corresponded so that you know what they're talking about when they say, you know, grab the alcohol cards. You're like, okay, what do those look like? I got a lot of cards. Boom, this will tell you what that is. Hmm. Got it. All right, we're going to flip through. So the rules look great. Layout, very professional. Everything's nice. Little breakouts here in the darker boxes. Ah, whiskey or whiskey. Very nice. So some have the E in America. Bourbon will be called whiskey with an E. In Scotland, it's without. And it depends on where you live. Tells you right there. So these are little notes from, from Dave Beck, kind of giving you some of the lingo of the whiskey world, I imagine, or the alcohol world. There's some, is that Korean, Japanese? I don't know. All right. Wow. Very interesting. Glass making. Okay. The Americas, Asia, Oceania, Europe. Hmm. Interesting. Very nice. Thicker than I thought it would be. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Now we're looking at counters. So how well do these punch out? Perfect. No problems whatsoever. Let's take a little look. Okay, here we go. Let's launch. It's a lunch of mob. All right. Vodka, tequila, gin. Hmm. Wow. Brandy. There's our whiskey. Huh. Very cool. So this is going to be. As the box says, it's just distilled spirits. It's not just whiskey. And I kind of knew that. I just get zeroed in on single malts. I'm sure you can even make blends, which uses grain alcohols along with single malted barley. We're getting ready to get into the game trays, but these look like your player boards. So, yep, you got a wash back. Very nice. I've done more than a few distillery to tours. Nice. All right, so these are all going to look the same. These are your player boards, other than the color, looks like. All right, what do we have here? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this is your truck that looks like it's delivering things in. It's kind of a neat look. And sits right there, but you can see there's going to be other things that are going to be in this game tray. Let's see. Let's pop these out. Come on, how do we get you out? Where is the area? Okay, over there. No. All right, it took me a while to get that out. So the basic market. And what are these? I don't know. It looks almost like a check sheet, checklist. Oh, these are recessed, if you can see this, which is great. So this has been a new thing lately, and now that you have it, you always want it. You'll have wooden cubes. Wooden cubes will sit inside these slots so that if you accidentally bump this board while you're playing, they don't move around and get lost. Or maybe they're little cardboard tokens that go in there. And this is recessed as well. Hmm. So it looks like you have a little check sheet on what you're doing or making. Very nice. So you can see there's going to be all kinds of tokens that will fit inside your game trays. Nice. Same thing going here. Trays, T-R-Y-Z, are just awesome little organizers that allow you to set them out on the table and you can get into play quickly. So obviously I'll have to have those punched out for those to go in. Very nice. Probably more general bits that you can just scoop out real easy. Again, it gets you up and playing quickly. Hmm. And what do we have under there? Okay. Different types of spirits, different types of glasses for said spirits. Hmm. And again, like a card tray. So what do we have in here? So we have, sorry, upside down, different types of spirits again. 
end game scoring. So this is like a little helper aid, but okay, it looks like it's telling you what you're gonna have to have to distill said spirit. Got it. it looks like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, and it looks like some kind of barrel. So this could, I don't know what this is gonna do. Maybe that's like whose turn it is. Cubes that would I imagine fit into that board that I showed you. Hmm. Uh, different types of stills. Yes. Okay. Different types of stills. I see a column still. Huh. Interesting. And then particular cards. And what I will do, ingredients, what I will do is pull this board out of the way or the box out of the way and we'll just flip through some of these cards. So we have items, we have ingredients, I bet you we're going to have types of barrels, yeah, wood barrel basic, yes. So you can, you know, if you're making uh, bourbon, you're going to need a virgin oak, American oak barrel. Uh, but if you're uh, distilling, you've distilled um, uh, single malt scotch, you can put it into a used bourbon barrel, a sherry butt, all kinds of stuff, and it gives you different quantities. So that should be fun and probably educational. Distilled goals. Maybe these are hidden goals. Sold goal swap card five. Okay. So maybe you're going to have some hidden goals at the table so no one knows exactly what you're trying to do. You get bonus points for doing x that's me guessing i don't know for sure so again does this does this lift out doesn't feel like it it feels like this is designed to stay in place but you could definitely pull it out but it's a little flexible so maybe it's designed to just hold the cards and do its thing let me get reconfigured with these and i'll unzip them and we'll just kind of riffle through some of these cards. So we're going to end up unshrinking these, but you can see we have lots and lots of cards for, um, for the game. Let's take a look at these first. All right, we'll come in. Let's see if we can get these. So again, you can see gold swap in the shape of a nice barrel, but Let's just see. Oh, yeah. So blue glass, close to home, delegation, diverse portfolio. Let me just flip through these a little quicker without having to say each one of them. I'm apparently in the flight path for helicopters today, so you may hear some rumbling. And that would be said helicopters. So what do we got here? Uh, and do the cards look different? Yes, they do. Got it. Okay, distilled golds, goals, and these are the barrels. So collect two spirit labels from three different regions. So again, I don't know if these are just little secret goals or what's going on. But I'll just flip through some of them. That's part of the unboxing. I will learn the rules later. And again, these look like that. Hmm. All right, let's grab these next. So ingredients. All right, so first coming in, it's not just ingredients. It's also flavors. And then, what are we moving to here? Deed ownership. Okay, so I don't know what that is, but these look like personas. Maybe the folks that owned it, that willed it to you. Looks like it, because there's our Scottish fella. Hopefully I had those in frame, sorry. Okay. So different folks, and I don't know if they are nods to the real folks or not, but all right. Items. So let's take a look. 
from the other side. So we're looking at items. And I'm just going to, man, again, I'm getting off camera. Sorry, I'm all zoomed in. So let me just kind of move through. Okay. I can't see these quite as well, but I'm going to make sure I'm looking at the camera better. So I stay in frame. Sure enough. Okay. All right. What do we got? Huh, bacon? Oh, bandages. <laughs> so, especially some peated Islas I've had. Sometimes you'll get like Band-Aid flavor. I know for those board gamers, that doesn't sound good. Trust me, it can be delicious. So I would imagine these are different flavor types that come across and you may be surprised. Yeah, you'll get a lot of, a lot of red berries, rising dough, um, vanillas will come through. Sometimes you will get a little bit of sea salt or fish. <laughs> People like fish? Yeah, on occasion. Uh, fresh mown grass. Yes, I even say fresh mown hay on occasion. These are all flavors you can get from a single malt. I don't know what that is. Fla smell of couch, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. You'll get chocolates. Um, it takes a while to get some of these. Uh, the more you try and push your palate, the more things you'll pick up. But I bet you that's what all this is. Ooh, skunk. Yeah, some will have a, a bit of a funky smell. Uh, some from Campbellton. It's a region in Scotland. <laughs> People like skunk. Yes, tobacco, ard bags. Mmm, my favorite. So that is cool. I'm getting excited and thirsty just doing the unboxing. Let me move through a little bit quicker because we got more decks to do. So we'll look at ingredients. All right, that was actually yeast. May not be able to see that. Let me keep it down. So you can get a lot of different kinds of yeast. Um, just like there's levels of nerddom in board games, right down to types of paper. Uh, I've never gotten into yeast strains, but I've had friends that will talk about certain yeast strains. So I don't know. It looks like some of these are different. So there may be different yeast strains in use. Um, there's definitely different types of water, but I don't know if that'll be displayed here or not. It could just be yeast and water and you need a lot of both. So that's possible. So mixed grains, okay. Lots, it might just be tons and tons. Mixed plants. Hmm. Okay, so maybe botanicals, fruits. Sugars thereof. Uh, clay barrel. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever had anything from a clay barrel. And wood barrels. Okay. Get this off to the side. Let's go with alcohol. There are zip ties. I did not know that. And I was struggling getting the other ones open. So if you purchase the game, look for the, I call them zip ties, but the easy opens. I couldn't find it. I wasn't looking for it. So we have tons of ingredients. Is it all ingredients? It looks to be, looks to be. So alcohol. Hmm. And again, I don't know if these are all the same or do they vary? We'll find out later. All right, then we have beer barley. Careful, I don't dump that all on the ground. Oh, winter rye. Um, my favorite Crown Royal is the Northern Harvest Rye. So, and, and it just has a flavor I love. There's some controversy with that for those whiskey drinkers, but I won't go into. <laughs> so maybe there are distinct differences. So it looks like some pine needles, fruits, rice, Wheat, rye, love me some rye, millet, corn, and barley. Dang it, I was kind of off camera again. Barley. Sorry, I keep getting excited and moving up. Hopefully it's not too bad. Last one, and I will search for, where's the little zip? Where is it? I will find you. There, I see it. Ooh, that one would not come off. 
All right, what do we got? We got distillery upgrades here. How many of those? Lots, so we'll look at those in a second. Premium items, okay. Lots. Still premium. And then ingredients, okay. Some more ingredients cards. What are we looking at? Anise, sugar cane. Hmm, good for rum, probably. Palm, agave, hello. Apples, figs, juniper berries, grapes, of course, turbo yeast, huh. Mountain spring water, American standard barrel. I must have missed, oh yeah, here we go. So ex-bourbon hogshead, they made them a little bur bigger. Uh, per okay, huh, dual and barrel. Don't even know what that is, I'm gonna learn. I don't know what this one is either, cool. I have heard of the stainless steel. It keeps anything from acting upon the alcohol. <laughs> Skull bottle, that'll get somebody's attention. Pig bottle, very nice, okay, wow. Hmm. Multifaceted. Etched, rounded, huh, with the canister without, pirate, <laughs> this is cool, here's your column still, wow, the ventilation, a drone camera, huh, nice, this is cool, this is very cool. These are specialists that you can hire in. There's the gal from the front of the box, a master blender. Very, very nice trays. Let's get the name back on. We've got stuff falling out here, but distilled.